Welcome back and thanks for joining us. Today we're doing a walkthrough assembly on our brand new Rover 360 snowmobile caster set, also known as snowmobile dollies. Now, if you wanna see more information about the product, be sure to check out the product breakdown video. We'll include the link for that in the description below or check out the product page at caliberproductsinc.com. Let's get this stuff out of the box and get the video started. All right, so we got everything out of the package and we do wanna say that for today's video, we are assembling the three pack Rover 360. If you are assembling the two pack Rover 360, you'll wanna save around for the front half of this video, but let's go through the kit contents and then we'll get the assembly started. The first thing you should see in the box is going to be this sheet of paper. This sheet of paper has two QR codes on it, one for the assembly instructions on our website as well as the product video that you're watching today. Now, if you want to go ahead and scan the QR code for the instruction, you can use those to follow along as we go through the video. The next thing you'll see is going to be these rubber pads. So you'll have two pads for the track dolly as well as four pads for the ski dollies. Next thing you should have is going to be three of the platforms, the dolly platforms. Uh, two of these are gonna be for the skis. One is going to be for the track. You will also have these four ski straps. Now these are gonna be used for containment for the ski platforms. These will not be installed on the track dollies. And lastly, you will have your box of casters. Now, for the three pack, we're gonna need 12, and for the two pack, you're only gonna have eight. Double check and make sure that you have all your kit contents. If not, jump on our website at caliberproductsinc.com, request the additional parts that you need. Otherwise, let's get the assembly going. Now, this should be a relatively tool-free assembly, but in some situations, when installing casters onto the platforms, you may need something like a dead blow hammer or a rubber mallet but those will come later in the video. We're gonna get started with the platform pads, so stick around. All right, so we're gonna start with our two ski platforms. So we're gonna grab two of these as well as our four platform pads. Now there is a pretty visible difference between the ski pads and the track pad. On the ski pads, there is a larger caliber logo and it is a smoother finish uh, for the track pad. There are larger ridges to interact or engage with the lugs on the track as well as a smaller caliber logo here in the center. So like we said, we're gonna have our four ski platform pads and we're gonna get those installed. Now you can use a pliers to pull the tabs through or pull the, the inserts through on the pads. They do press in relatively easily though. Uh, all four points, if you press, put a little bit of pressure on them, they will push right through. Now you can use something like uh, dish detergent or something like that to make it a little bit easier if you are having a tough time, but it should go in relatively easily. And you will see that there is basically a channel or a recess for the ski pad to fit into right here. Um, they do nest in or seat into the platforms relatively well, so you wanna make sure that you press those all the way around and do the same thing on the other side here. We got the first one done. So we're gonna move on to the second one here. All right, so we'll get those two platforms out of the way. Now we're gonna work on the third one, the track dolly. Like we said, larger ridges, these will engage or interact with the track better, uh, especially compared to a traditional dolly, you'll get much better engagement, much better hold. If you kind of feel around on the pad, you can see and feel where those rubber posts are and you just press directly right on top of it and it should push through the opening on the dolly. Just like that. All right, so now that we have the rubber pads installed on all three of these platforms, we're gonna move on to the casters. All right, so we have all 12 of our casters out of the box here. Now we do wanna point something out. On the post for the caster here, there is a ring clip that you'll want to be aware of. So when it comes to installing these, you'll wanna make sure that you lean 
the post on the caster back, pushing this ring up into the recess or into the channel. And from there, you can essentially just push the post right down into the platform. From there, we're just going to keep working our way around the platform, installing the casters into each hole. All right, so now you should have all six platform pads installed as well as all 12 caster wheels. Now we're gonna flip these things over. We're gonna make sure that we have our two ski platforms, right? Make sure everything is all set up here. Everything is nested in where it should be. And we're going to install our last four pieces here. So now these are going to be your ski containment straps. Um, these, if you're rolling over any thresholds, any uh, extension cords, um, anything that you might have, any concerns about the, the platforms coming out from under the skis, these are gonna be used to help keep them in place. Now, there is a top side and a bottom side to the straps here. So you'll see one has a little bit more of a, a notch out or a core out on the front side here. This is going to be the top. The smooth side or the flat side is gonna be the bottom. So these straps are gonna go through the outside of the platform here. Just like this, feet up through the bottom, they'll lock into place and they'll come over top. Then you have a few points of adjustment here to change the pressure that you have on the skis. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the rest of them here. Cord outside or the square side on the top, smooth side on the bottom. All right, so after getting those four straps installed, you should have a complete Rover 360 assembly. Now, like we said, this is our three pack. If you are purchasing a two pack, it's just going to be the two ski platforms and not the track platform. Uh, these can be used in conjunction with other products that we have like sled wheels or the Trax Wheels 2.0 as a great mobility solution. Now let's get these things under the sled and let's get moving. For more information on the Rover 360 and all other Caliber products, don't forget to check out our website at CaliberProductsInc.com and don't forget to follow us on our other social channels at Caliber Products on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for watching the video. Always remember, stay safe, get your ride on, and we'll see you on the trail.